These pyramids are the tombs of the so-called black pharaohs of the Nubian kingdom of Kush. They too harnessed the Nile's riches and were at one time powerful enough to rule their Egyptian neighbors a thousand kilometers to the north. But unlike the Egyptians, little is known about their mysterious culture and language. A little way upstream from those enigmatic pyramids, the Nile story becomes more complicated. Now there are two rivers, the Blue Nile and the White Nile. Here they meet and merge in what Arab poets call the longest kiss in history. The clearly different colors of the Blue and White Nile suggest different characters and origins. This meeting of the waters is the site of another great human settlement, Khartoum. Khartoum is the capital of Sudan, a country of nearly 600 tribes and over 100 languages. Centuries old, Khartoum remains to this day one of the most important crossroads in the African landscape. The Nile has seen Kushites, Christians and Arabs each rule here in their time. But Islam has emerged as the dominant voice in modern Khartoum. Every Friday, Islamic mystics still gather to affirm their beliefs. A crowd urges them to spin. They enter a state of trance, believing in this way that they can span the divide between heaven and earth. These are the legendary whirling dervishes.